the five rivers of Punjab to slice your throat from there to there. Oh, ear to ear. Here to there, for there to here. Yes, yes. There will be no throat slicing in my class. If you want to do that sort of thing, you should have joined the sports and pastimes. Something else. Ali, please. Ah, you are extending your mind. No, I'm not. Put your suitcase away. This is not petticoat, lane. Just sit down, everybody. Come on. Juan, Taro, sit down. I will be happy to assist her. You will do nothing, <laughs> nothing of the sort. Oh, now, now, please, everybody, just sit down. You're here to learn English. We've had enough disruption for one night. You should leave your personal problems at home. Now, look at your newspapers. And is it also a coincidence that you all answered question seven as follows? Question, explain what is wrong with the following sentence. My dogs is in the garden. <laughs> Answer, I do not have a garden. <laughs> oh, me tippy. I Yes, well, you will all receive extra homework tonight. And please, this time, make sure that you do it yourselves. She's absolutely right, you know. Some of you are very behind with your English. I mean, I spend a lot of time preparing these lessons, and some of you don't take them half as seriously as you might. It's time you all put your shoulders to the wheel. What wheel, please? <laughs> Learning. I think you'd better stay a half hour extra tonight. Oh. It's Friday night! Can I got a date? Well, I don't care. I want you to do all the exercises on page 53. All of them. And you don't go until you've finished. Oh. Yeah. No? <laughs> yeah, imbecile. Già yeah, imbecile? Imbecile tu! Italiano yeah. idiota! No, la capitano! Yeah, 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 if you want to argue, argue in English. Go back to Italy, you Italian spaghetti! Ah, shut up! <laughs> you big Spanish omelette! <laughs> Let us just say that we no longer require your services. I feel that Miss Hardacre will be much more suitable. Yeah, well, in that case, I suggest you get Miss much more suitable Hardacre to take over tonight, because I'm going home. You can't just walk out like that! Oh, yes, I can. And I won't say it's been a pleasure, because it hasn't. All I can say is... In India, you'd be sacred. Question five. Quite a hard one, this. Construct a sentence using the word indisposition. Sure. <laughs> Every Saturday, I play football, and I am being the goalie keeper, because I like playing indisposition. <laughs> Silence! Look, this is no laughing matter. If your present standard is anything to go by, you haven't a chance of passing your exams. Well, I suggest you all take an early tea break, study those questions, and let's hope that you show some signs of intelligence. Otherwise, we might as well stop wasting each other's time. <coughs> How can you possibly be thinking of marrying Sue Lee tomorrow? Why not? It's big of me. Oh, no. It is big of me. <laughs> no, no, Anna, you don't understand. You can't have two wives. Oh, yes, please. It is allowed by my religion. If the first wife is agreeable, then the husband can take another. You mean your wife doesn't mind? Not at all. It is to have the baby. Baby? Yes, please. We have been now crying for four years, and nothing is happening. So I'm taking another wife to have the babies. <laughs> yeah, well, it's against the law in this country. But they're not going to be finding out, are they? <laughs> yes, they are, because I'm afraid I'm going to have to be telling them. Oh, blimey. <laughs> now what am I going to be doing? Well, I think the first thing you should do is tell Sue Lee about your wife. Uh, she's already knowing it. And she doesn't mind? Not at all. She's being very much in love with me. Well, look, you'll just have to tell her that the wedding is off. Ah, uh, she will be broken-hearted. Yes, well, you should have thought of that before. Well, uh, I may as well warn you that I'm not in the best of humours tonight. In fact, I have a serious complaint. Why not you go to the doctor? It's not that sort of complaint, Danielle. <laughs> I'm far from happy with your progress. I feel as if I'm banging my head against a brick wall. Oh, blimey. If you are doing that, you will be getting a headache. <laughs> I checked your homework last night, and frankly, I think you're getting worse. Now, Max, the correct form of address for a cardinal is not Westminster Cathedral. <laughs> I didn't know he'd moved. <laughs> that should have been your eminence. And, Danielle, the word conjugate is applied to verbs and has nothing whatsoever to do with marital relations. Oh, I am sorry. And as for you, Ranjit, well, some of your answers made no sense whatsoever. That is because I'm not understanding the gist of the questions. So I'm answering different questions that I do understand. <laughs> that is not the object of homework. A thousand apologies. 
excuse me, Mr. Brown. What is it this time, Gladys? He's back. Who's back? Ivan the Terrible. <laughs> Wants to see you. Giovanni, would you like to kiss? Come on, hello. Danielle, why aren't you in the classroom? I am trying to explain to Mr. Jarvis what I said between us is not true. Sure. It's every man for himself, is it, Brown? Look, I'd appreciate it, Mr. Jarvis, if you stopped pestering my students, if you don't mind. A bit sensitive, aren't we? Touch of the green eye, is it? Certainly not. Well, then, as they say in this lovely lady's land, fermez la bouche, shut your gob. Don't you speak to Mr. Brown like this. He will be angry with you. Oh, really? He is not frightened of you. Oh, aren't you? Well, I'm not. No, he is not. And if you're not careful, he will hit you. Danielle. <laughs> you couldn't hit a fly. Look, Jarvis, I'm not in the slightest... And he is ready whenever you are. Right. Tonight, <laughs> after class, in the yard, we'll have a bunch of... <laughs> Professor, right. Hello, Giovanni. This fight. What about right. it? All right. Well, we show you how to win. When you get in the ring, first, you smash him in the stomach. <laughs> and when his head comes down, you knee him under the chin. No, 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 no. Much better. <laughs> no, 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 no. First, you hit him in the throat and then you butt him in the stomach. <laughs> See, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, all right, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. more fighting. You're here to learn English. I mean, not, don't forget why you're here. Right. Juan. Si, sí, senor. Give me the opposite of the following words. Ready? Not ready. Yeah, I haven't started. <laughs> Juan. I, I lost. That's enough. Uh, that's not enough. Stop. Uh, go. Sit down. Stand up. Oh, somebody stop him, please. Silencio. Hey, I do good, eh? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> You're so good talent. If you all spent half as much energy on learning English as you do on arguing with each other, you'd be word perfect by now. As it is, you still have a lot to learn. In just over a week, you take your examinations, and I don't think you're quite ready at all. Uh, squeeze, please. You are committing a mistake. No, I'm not. You may have mastered a few verbs, but you speak English atrociously. All we need is a little electrocution. <laughs> Elocution. Okay. You're quite right, Max. What you all need is to practice your English conversation. I like to go to the beach, take all my clothes off and lie in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me which beach I come and watch. <laughs> Don't interrupt, Giovanni. Sit down. Go on, Donya. Surely, your subject, philosophy. Very good. In democratic republic of China, philosophy is for the proletariat where all property invested in community, each member working according to his capacity and receiving according to his wants, as opposed to Western philosophy where proletariat exploited by corrupt capitalists and imperialistic warmongers <laughs> who seek only to oppress the middle classes and create class Hitler. Chairman Mao, he yeah, said... That is not true. True. That's right. <laughs> Max, a minute please on British birds. <laughs> Birds, especially blondes. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet. That is not very funny, Max. Sorry. Juan. Sí, señor. Let's hear your observations on the stars. Por favor. <laughs> ah, sí, stars. There is plenty stars. Yeah, well, can you name some? Eh, uh, sí. Uh, Sofia Loren, Brigitte Bardot. <laughs> Quiet. Uh, sorry, Mr. Brown. Just a joke. Just. Uh, if it isn't too much trouble, can you try being more serious for one minute? Si, si. Minute. I speak serious. Here we are. 72p, please. Didn't I see you take a drink of my lager? <laughs> yeah, but it was, uh, it was only a sip. Oh, yes, I suppose you were tasting it to make sure it was fit to drink. No, 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 no it was purely accidental. I have a good mind to report you to the brewery. Well, frankly, I couldn't care less what you do. Your attitude is typical of the working class mentality. It's people like you that are ruining the country. You're nothing but a peasant. And you, sir, are a bourgeois snob. 72p, please. I refuse to pay for a drink that has been contaminated by your lips. Oh, I see. Well, all right, don't pay. You have it on me. Here you go. <laughs> Bora, I know it's somewhere. It's written all over your face. No. No, I'm right in my face. Yeah. <laughs> This is no laughing matter. Come on, one. Where is it? Uh, and the table. <laughs> Get your big Spanish bottom out of my chair. You talk to me like that, I punch you. Now, well, that's enough. Seats are not reservable. Sit somewhere else, Sally. Okay. I sit at the back. You big Spanish bull. Hey, come, come on. Well, I must say that I am extremely disappointed in you all. It's not your fault, Professori. We not pass because we're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and 
what does that make me? I'm more stupid. <laughs> exactly. Out of ten students, I have nine failures. Really sorry, I'm right. Congratulations. You're getting ten out of ten. <laughs> well, I really don't know what to say. Oh, blimey. If you're, not, <laughs> if you're not knowing what to say, how are you going to be teaching us? <laughs> I'll ignore that stupid remark. Jolly good. <laughs> because you have all failed, I have failed. No, oh, that's not true. Oh, that's it's really? perfectly true. Now, this term, I want much more effort from all of you. You must all pull your socks up. All right. <laughs> I was speaking figuratively. Por favor. Never mind. <laughs> we must all concentrate much harder this term. Now we shall start at the beginning again. Only this term I shall be giving you twice as much homework as last. Oh. And I want a hundred percent effort from all of you. Now, Mr. Brown, I understand that none of your previous students passed their lower Cambridge certificate. Oh, well, I think there were a few near misses. That is not good enough. Obviously, Mr. Brown, you are sadly lacking in the necessary qualities required to teach English. Oh, just a moment. Don't interrupt. I shall be keeping a very close eye on you this term, Mr. Brown, and unless I see a marked improvement, out you go. Well, it's not necessary. I have no altogether. wish to listen to your feeble excuses. Pompous old cow. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I said, uh, I'm just going now. <laughs> Right. Quiet, everybody. Listen. I want to read you all my letter of resignation. Oh. 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 No, no. I am definitely oh. resigning. With £100,000, I no longer need to teach English. That's true. Oh. Right. Dear Dracula. Oh. This is to inform you that I think you are a rude, obnoxious and self-opinionated old dragon. Oh. And if ever I see you again, it'll be too soon. Oh. Yours disrespectfully, Jeremy Brown. Hey. Why you not tell me the teachers behind me, you Italian macaroni? Why you... <laughs> you lump of Spanish omelette? <laughs> All right, come on, sit down and be quiet. Eh, uh, teacher is right. You sit down. Sit down, be quiet. Go on, sit down. Go on, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, why, well, that includes you. Por favor. Uh, you heard. <laughs> sit down. I'm getting rather tired of this continual habit of certain people being late. 7.30 is the time class commences, and you should all be sitting at your desks, ready to begin work. Now, I shan't tell you again. In future, anybody who comes late will go straight home. Now, can anybody add anything to that? The old waiter carefully served fish and chips. <laughs> Two more nouns and a conjunction. Okay, cocky. <laughs> the old waiter carefully served Two more nouns and a compliment. <laughs> All right, first time, Giovanni. Mr. Brown. Are you Miss Courtney? <laughs> Do I look like Miss Courtney? Look, why don't you go the whole hog and ask the music class to play the national anthem as they enter? This is supposed to be an informal visit. I don't think you're approaching this special occasion in the right attitude. Well, I think you're being carried away. Nonsense! This is an opportunity for all the staff and students to show their loyalty and devotion to our sovereign. It's up to the entire school to make a good impression. One never knows where it may lead. The New Year's Honours List isn't far away. Honours List? Yes. A knighthood could be within your grasp. A knighthood? And in this class, we are endeavouring to teach English to foreign students. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Cook. Don't interrupt, Mr. Yeah, Brown. I think you should Mr. know... Mr. That... Brown! All right, please yourself. Oh, would you care for a cup of tea? <laughs> it's not too much trouble. Oh, it's no trouble at all. You must come round and have a cup of tea with my husband and I sometime. Mr. <laughs> Miller, would you please tell Ali where you go to get aspirin? Oh, my chemist. Thank you. Where are you going now? to buy some aspirin for headache. I thought you said you hadn't got a headache. Oh, blimey, I got one now. Oh, come on. <laughs> Max, uh, give me an example of a principal clause. Santa Claus. <laughs> My, uh, right, just for that, Max, you can write out 20 times a clause is a sentence which is part of a longer sentence. OK. Yeah, but not now, in your own time. And you can give me 10p. Thank you. Tanya. 
As handsome as a prince, as ugly as... A Swede. <laughs> as ugly as sin. Ten P. It was worse, it. <laughs> ah, I've got a message for you from Miss Courtney. Oh, yes. Push off. <laughs> what? Look, I know all about your little game, so I advise you to get lost quick before I throw you out. You and whose army? Me and this army. Yeah, yeah, well, um, <clears throat> perhaps I had better be going. <laughs> it's all right, Miss Courtney, he's gone. Oh, thank you, Mr. Brown. Juan, how about you? Por favor. <laughs> good or bad? Uh, sometimes I am good. <laughs> sometimes I am bad. But, uh, not talking about you personally, Juan, do you think television is good? Uh, sometimes good, sometimes bad. Make your mind up, Juan. In a debate, you can't sit on the fence. <laughs> I'm not sitting on the fence. I'm not sitting on the fence. <laughs> forget I asked you. Hey, what you asked me? Well, forget it. How can I forget it if I don't remember? <laughs> Never mind. It's all right. Leaving past well, firstly, may I say thank you for all your efforts yesterday to help raise the fare for Ranjit. Oh. No, 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 it was a remarkable effort, which is more than I can say for your homework. Oh. I am not happy with your answers. And we are also not happy with the questions. <laughs> I've got an idea. You're not happy, we're not happy. So if you not give us any homework, we both be happy. Okay, <laughs> happy. Silence. Look. In future, you will be given extra homework, and I hope that I see some improvement. Some of you are just simply not trying. For example, Max. The opposite of anti-meridian is not Uncle Meridian, but post-meridian. <laughs> OK. I don't know what you're laughing about, Giovanni. Your answer to the question, write a sentence using a metaphor, was unbelievable. But I did write a sentence using a metaphor. Oh, yes. Last night, I phoned my girlfriend and a metaphor a drink. <laughs> For yes, your please. information, a polygon is a term used to describe a figure with angles and sides and have nothing whatsoever to do with a disappearing parrot. <laughs> oh, come on, what's going on here? What's all this about? They're having a religious discussion. Oh. Yes, well, let everyone sit down, please. Oh, oh. Yeah, I will not have this sort of behaviour in the classroom. He's saying rudy things about Allah. And you are saying rude things about my case? Yes, well, in future, kind of keep the differences to yourselves. Now, shake hands. Oh, no. I'm not shaking hands with an infidel. Ali, he's shaking hands. <laughs> but he's the one who started it, isn't he? I'm only giving him titty for tatty. Well, I... <laughs> Tit for tat. Yes, please. <laughs> I don't care who started it. Shake hands. OK. Ranjit? I cannot shake the hands of a barbarian. <laughs> Well, either you shake hands or go home. It's entirely up to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm. Oh, dearie me. Who is going to be the lucky one to be getting me? <laughs> Ranjit. <laughs> Can you please be starting again? <laughs> no, it's a perfectly fair system. In any case, it's time you two learnt to coexist. Look, we passed a sign just down the road. Now, did anybody see what it said? Yes, please. Right, well, I'll look it up on the map, and then we will know where we are. I really don't think that would be much help, Mr. Brown. With all due respect, Miss Courtney, I happen to possess a Pathfinder's badge from the Boy Scout, so I know quite a bit about the map. <laughs> Once I know what the sign said, it's a simple matter to find out our exact location. Now, what did the sign say? Cattle crossing. Yep. <laughs> find that on the map, Mr. Brown. I'm telling you, we are lost. If you don't shut up, you'll be lost, because when we move off, we'll abandon you. <laughs> now, I'll give you a clue. I'm sitting on it. Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> no, Max, gate. <laughs> you damn fool. You are being more stupid than I am. You call me stupid, you Pakistani puppet. <laughs> don't you do stuff again. <laughs> 
You are going to visit Barclays Hall. Oh, no, you're not. Shove off. Don't speak to us like that. I shall report you to the Earl of Barclay. I am the Earl of Barclay. <laughs> now, push off before I set the dogs on you. Look, you don't understand. We have come to visit your stately home. Well, you're too late. I only open the house from 12 to 4. It's now uh, quarter to 5, so shove off. But please, your Earlship, couldn't you possibly... Certainly buy... not. I don't believe it. What a waste of a day. But it was a nice drive. It was a terrible drive. <laughs> What was what? <laughs> what awful noise. It's only a train. Only a train? This is worse than the waiting room at Waterloo Station. Don't worry, you get used to it. They only run every ten minutes after rush hour. <laughs> I'll never be able to sleep through all that noise. We give you some cotton wool to put in your ears. Well, I shall need it. <laughs> right, what's your name? Jeremy Brown. Brown? Yes. Oh, well, I suppose it makes a change from a Smith or Jones. Now, according to PC Barnes, you were caught breaking and entering. I was not breaking and entering. Were you picking the lock? Yes, but... Do you live there? No, but, uh... Charge, breaking and entering. <laughs> now, look, you're making a terrible mistake. That's what Crippin said. I <laughs> Sid, they've not nabbed you tonight as well. Is he one of your accomplices, eh? No, I know him. He can vouch for me. State he's in, he couldn't even vouch for his own mother. <laughs> <laughs> What's he done, Barnes? Drunk and disorderly. Pardon? Drunk and disorderly. So am I. <laughs> Sergeant, here's the caretaker at the school where I teach. He will tell you who I am. You. Do you know this man? He's a copper. <laughs> Sid, it's me. Look, tell the sergeant who I am. Charlie Farnsbach. <laughs> what? Never tell him your real name, son. Oh, <laughs> take him away. Bring him back when he's sober. Come on. Ah, we go. <laughs> now then, Mr. Brown, or Farnsbars, or whatever you call yourself. Brown. Professore. Max Giovanni, thank goodness you're here. Look, tell this, tell this sergeant who I am. He's Mr. Jeremy Brown. Yeah, he teaches us to speak the English. What? Do you live at Six Winthrop Road? Sure we do. What happened? Where have you been? Well, I got locked out on your balcony and your public-spirited neighbour thought I was a burglar and called the police. So you were telling the truth, huh? Yes, I have a good mind to sue you for false arrest. If you do, there'll be a charge of assault and battery. I haven't assaulted anyone. No, but I should go now. Before I do. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, it's you, Mr. Brown. Let's have a sing song. Sugar in the morning, sugar in the morning. Good evening, Mr. Brown. Oh, Ali. What have you been doing with yourself over the weekend? Oh, blimey. Saturday, I'm going to the palace of Buckingham to see Her Majesty the Queen, but she was not in. Then I'm going to Drowning Street to see the Prime Minister, Mr. Colorgas. Colorhan. Yes, please. He was also not in. Then I'm going to see the Nelson's tomb. Well, I hope he was in. Oh, no. I did not see him either. Oh, go on. <laughs> no, it just finished. Good. I have a gross problem. Oh, not another one. Who is it? Hans, Karl, Wilhelm, or Adolf? <laughs> no, it is my homework. Oh. The screw is a bit me! you tiny chicken! Go away! You can do it! Take away! Ali, what is going on? It is orangey. What is the matter with him? Oh, blimey. He has gone oranges. <laughs> yes, please. Give me bananas. Jelly good. Not open this door, I'm breaking it down. 
Ali, unlock the door. Oh, no. I'm not unlocking the door. Right, well, if you won't unlock it, I will. I have been warning you. Now I'm coming in. Ah! <laughs> Angie, what is the meaning of this? The meaning is... <coughs> some damn fool is opening the door just as I'm charging it. Mr. Brown opens the door. <gasps> Thousand apologies. <laughs> right, come over here, Ali. Now, what is all this about? That barbarian is calling me a hairy goat. <laughs> is this true, Ali? Yes, please. But this infidel is calling me the son of a cross-eyed camel. That is not true. <laughs> I am calling him an illegitimate son of a cross-eyed camel. Yeah, well, it's not good enough. Ah. You want me to be calling him something worse? I don't want anybody calling anybody anything. Whatever your differences are, kindly leave them outside the classroom. Now sit down, the pair of you. Come on. Buenas tardes. Juan, you're late. Por favor. Never mind, por favor. You should have been here five minutes ago. I would like my personal chauffeur to join your class. Oh, I'm afraid that is quite impossible. It is midterm and students are not permitted to join halfway through a course. Rules are rules. I'm sure you could make an exception for a little donation of uh, uh, 2,000 pounds. <laughs> this isn't the Dorchester Hotel, you know. <laughs> this is an educational establishment. You can't expect us to bend the rules just because you plonk two grand on the table. Can he, Miss Courtney? Well, of course he can. Well, that's all in this program, but I think the whole idea is ridiculous. I am supposed to teach English to foreign students. He sounds like a foreign student. Oh, no. <laughs> now, listen to me, Mr. Brown. You are a teacher of English, and it is your job to teach English no matter who or what your students may happen to be. Well, actually, I'm Don't trying interrupt. To tell you. Mr. McGregor is from Scotland, which is part of Great Britain. Great Britain is comprised of England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Not Wales in England. Wales in the sea. <laughs> I'm talking about Wales, the country, at the end of the M4. Ah, sorry. Wrong number. <laughs> now, well, you better just sit there and listen while I get on with the rest of the lesson. All right, do have a please yourself, son. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Having a dram. Oh, you fancy you touch the stag's breath yourself, why then? Certainly not. And I don't allow drinking in the classroom. Oh, see, so well, help yourself to smoke if you feel like. No <laughs> drinking and no smoking. God, it's worse than being in a kirk. Precisely. <laughs> Must have been satisfied all. Yeah, well, you can satisfy it after class. Sit down, Tom. <coughs> and as for you, I'd be obliged if you would keep quiet. I punch you in your head. I'm like kicking you up at the back side, and I kick you out the front side. I'm right out. Yes, and please be leaving something for me also. Okay, who's first? Yeah. <laughs> As for you, if I have any more interruptions from you, yeah. out you go. All right, all right. Not a word. Stum. Good. <laughs> I am believing that all men are being born equal. Oh, no! <laughs> Job, I have warned you. Oh, come on, Jimmy. I can't be expected to sit here and listen to Charlie Chapati claiming his mate. <laughs> <laughs> what is he Nothing, Randy. <laughs> oh, well, the same goes for you, take away Tommy. <laughs> I'll give you a bunch of fiber. Come on, 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 you you can just kind of just go. Where is everybody going? Well, do it quietly. Ah, oh, Miss Courtney, I'm sorry. I, I'm afraid I can't do it. Can't do what? Put up with our Scottish friend. He's a, he's a disruptive influence on the rest of the class. Mr. Brown, I am afraid that you must. I have invited the Sheikh to meet the Board of Governors. He has promised to give us a new school hall. I don't care if he's promised to give you the Albert Hall. 
Forgive me, I couldn't help overhearing. Is there some sort of problem? No. Yes, I'm afraid I cannot put up any longer with this chauffeur of yours. He's rude, self-opinionated and extremely unpleasant. And you can keep your Rolls Royce. <laughs> what an collective noun to describe a group of footballers. Uh, Real Madrid. <laughs> that is no good answer. The correct answer is a team. Hey, that's right. Team. Yeah. <laughs> Who said that? I did. <laughs> Whoops, a that easy. Hey, how long have you been here? Long enough. Look, homework means work you do at home, individually, not here collectively. As you obviously cannot be trusted, you'll all stay behind after class and do your homework then. Oh. Now, come along, come. Very good. Fun. Fun! Si, senor. You are not paying attention. Si, plenty attention. All right, what did I just say? You say, Juan, you're not paying attention. I, uh, yes, be before that one. Uh, before that, uh, you're right, I don't pay attention. We were discussing I before E, except after C. Ah, it's all right. <laughs> Spell receipt. Por favor. You heard spell receipt. Uh, R, E, C, uh, I before E, except C. <laughs> e. Good. I, T. <laughs> uh, come on, think. You've missed something out. What comes before T? Uh, breakfast. <laughs> You're not here to make jokes, Juan. Ah, sorry, amigo. P T. Sorry. Uh, Juan. Si, senor. I pick subject. Yeah, well, there's, there's only one left. It's Hobson's choice. No, Hobson's choice. British custom. <laughs> well, that's what I meant. Do you know anything about British uh, custom? Plenty, plenty. Oh, good. First, you have uh, green or red. Green or red what? British custom. <laughs> Do you have something to declare? You go on the red. <laughs> Nothing to declare. Green. No one. See, I know. No, the question is not about those sort of customs. It means the things that we British do that are peculiar to us. Ah, speak English. <laughs> well, a little more than that one. Look, I'll give you an example. November the 5th, Guy Fawkes Day, is something we celebrate only in Britain. Ah, any more? Yes, afternoon tea, cricket, the boat race. Good, good. Any more? Bob a job week, Chelsea flip. Look, I'm supposed to be asking you the question. <laughs> so I. Buenas <laughs> tardes. Go away. We'll start with you, Ali and Anna. Do you come out here, please? Now, you have never met before, and you are sitting on a park bench, Anna. Uh, Anna. When along comes Ali and sits next to you and starts a conversation, all right? Carry on. <coughs> uh, good morning, lady. <laughs> come along, Anna, say something. I never speak to strange men in the park. <laughs> Very commendable, but let us assume that this time you do. Start again. Good morning, lady. Good morning. It is being a very nice day. Yeah. And no, this is supposed to be a conversation in English. Up to now, you've said Guten Morgen and Ja. Could you try and speak in English, please? Allow me to introduce myself, Jung Su Lee. My name is Carlos. Juan, what do you mean, Carlos? Eh, uh, I never give my right name when I speak <laughs> Carlos. Plenty <laughs> smart. You're not supposed to be picking her up. Good morning. Good morning. What can I do for you? I'm Jeremy Brown, English teacher. You offered me a job yesterday. Oh, of course you are. Do forgive me. I'm terribly sorry. I've got such an awful memory for faces, Mr. Brownlow. Brown? Uh, Brown, Brown. Uh, Brown. Yeah. Uh, please. <laughs> Quite all right. <laughs> but when shall I start? Start what? Teaching. I'm accepting the job. Oh. Uh, have you left your other position, then? Well, yes. I gave him my notice last night. Dear, 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 dear. That's most unfortunate. Why? Well, you see, we don't need anybody now. The chap that left came back again. Good, isn't it? <laughs> not for me, it isn't. No. Oh, no, no, I suppose not. No, no, I... Well, I, 
dear. What will you do now, Mr. Brown? Stop. Brown? Brown, Brown, Brown. Well, there's only one thing I can do. Uh, what's that? Which way's the nearest unemployment exchange? Jolly good. <laughs> Teacher is tolding us to be visiting... I am not tolding you anything, Ali. Oh, yes, please. I was being there when you were tolding us. But there's no such word as tolding. Teacher is right. Thank you, Anna. Mr. Brown telled us. <laughs> the past participle of the verb to tell is told. <laughs> pompous old twit. That <laughs> old hen, she's such a pompous old twit. <laughs> who's responsible for this? Come along, I'm waiting. Right, and if the person who's responsible doesn't own up, you'll all stay behind and have extra homework. It was Ranjit! <laughs> well, I suggest you come out here, Ranjit, and rub it off before Ali comes in and sees it. Before Ali comes in and sees what? Uh, nothing, <laughs> Ali. You are hiding something from me. <laughs> yes, please, I can see my name on blackboard. Well, we were just about to rub it off. Oh, blimey! <laughs> I can be reporting you to the Monastery of Education. Ministry. That also. I'm being surprised at you. Me? Writing naughty things like that. I didn't write it. But you are standing with Chucky in hand. That is circumstantial. Oh, no. That is most definitely Chucky. <laughs> it was already written before I arrived. Oh, -ho. then I'm knowing who is writing it. It is monkey face. <laughs> Kick you up the kaiba. <laughs> ah, sit down the pen. Listen, if I have any more arguments, those persons responsible will be sent home immediately. Well, that's not said. And that goes for you too. Uh -huh. No more arguments. Me? Never argue. Always argue. Never. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, no, I don't. You're arguing now. Oh, you always argue. Yes, I argue. And sit down. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Brown? Not particularly. Feeling under the weather? Just a bit. I had a bit too much to drink last night. Ah, buonasera, professore. Uh, good How are you feeling, Bosch? Terrible. Last night you were a very happy man. Was I? I don't remember. <laughs> you not remember dancing on the table? <laughs> I didn't. You did? With Hannah? Just after you asked her to marry you. Uh, well, I'm afraid I'd... <laughs> what did you say I did? You ask Anna to marry you. Oh, no. Oh, yes. You say you felt sorry for her. You don't want her to go back to Germany, so you tell her you marry her. Are you sure? Positive. She's going to fix the date tonight. You are a very lucky man. <laughs> Congratulations. I don't want congratulations. Well, come to think of it, getting splices is more of an occasion for mourning. <laughs> I am not getting married. Well, they seem to think you are. Well, they are wrong, and I'm going to tell them so. Oh. <laughs> right, Max, I want a word with you. <laughs> I, was, um, I was telling Miss Courtney that you know Arthur Muller. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? Smoking is well, not enough. I don't think I can stand anymore. Mr. Brown. Finished already? I am leaving while I still retain some shred of sanity. Well, you obviously didn't give her very good answers. Uh, not our fault. Question were too difficult. Well, you just have to work harder, right? It's almost time to go now. Don't forget your homework, please. See you tomorrow. Hello, Ranjit. Good evening, O most wise and illustrious one. Yes, well, I wish I could say the same about you. Incidentally, before the other students arrive, I have something to tell you. I know everything. That is why I'm calling you most wise and illustrious. <laughs> I mean about what you and Ali's wife have been up to. Thousand apologies? Well, I think it's Ali you should be apologizing to. Why should I be apologizing to Ali? For your behavior. After all, she is his wife. I am knowing that. That is why we are keeping it secret from him. <laughs> You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, no. I am very pleased to be doing it. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> I am sure if she's asking you to do the same, you'd be most happy to apply. <laughs> I hardly think so. Please, not to be telling Ali. Well, I won't. For his sake, not yours. Good. 
We are not wanting him to be finding out before tonight. But why tonight? Tonight, he'll be knowing everything. Are you going to tell him? No, he'll be seeing for himself. <laughs> Good Lord. It will be a big surprise. I think it'll be a shock. You are also coming to the party tonight. What party? The one we have been arranging for Ali. I'm getting a bit confused. You are saying you are knowing everything? Yeah, well, I just realised I don't know quite as much as I thought I did. Now, tell me something, Ranji. Have you been seeing Ali's wife? Most certainly. To be arranging the party for him tonight at 10 o'clock. And that's all? Just a party? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good day, Senor Brown. <laughs> That's better. Ah. Buonasera. Eh. No, buonasera. Speak it English. <laughs> Don't you tell me to speak it English, you great Spanish onion. <laughs> I punch your head in, you, you Italian ice cream. Yeah, all right. I can do. Sit down. You tell him, senor. Uh, uh, I'm telling both of you. You sit down. It's all right. It's all right. And I'll tell you what I told one. This is an English class, and when you arrive here, I expect you to speak English. No more buonasera. Good evening. Okie okay, okay. Good. Calisperas. Good night. Bonsoir, Monsieur Brown. I give up. <laughs> I hope you've all written the essays I sent you last week, the most moving experience of my life. Good. Shall I collect the books for you? No, Michel, for a change, I'd like you all to read your essays out aloud. The, the most, most moving experience of my life. life. <laughs> Not all at the same time. Fine, would you come out here and read your essay, please? Yes, sir. The most moving experience of my life by Juan Cervantes para servir. Yes, get on with it. Should I? <laughs> 